a dangerous recall of nearly 10 million pounds of ready-to-eat meats and poultry as it may be contaminated with listeria. I have all the details and the exact products that are being affected this time. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. First off, can I ask a huge favor of you? Please make sure to like the video with the big thumbs up button right down below. Also, if you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. Again, with the big subscribe button right down below. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And let's get into it. All right. Now, this is crazy because so far this year, I mean, obviously, as we're approaching the end of 2024, there's not that much left of the year, but we've seen some big, big recalls of listeria contaminated meats out there. In fact, it was not that long ago we saw the recalls of boar's head meat, right? That was a big, big one as well. That was a major one, but this is a new one that just cropped up and... I want to bring this to your attention because I'm not sure how many people out there actually consume this product, but um, <laughs> 10 million pounds are being recalled. I'm not sure if that's big or small, but to me, that sounds like a ton. 10 million pounds? That's nuts, right? So that's a lot of packaging, uh, packaged foods and, like I said, meats and poultry that are ready to eat, things like this. And again, listeria can be a very dangerous situation, especially for seniors, people with uh, weakened immune systems, pregnant people, uh, their new or their, their infants, things like this. It can be a tough situation for a lot of people, right? All right, so it is uh, Bruce Pack. Uh, ready to eat meats and poultry, okay? So this is um, the type of meats out there. So if you, if you buy Bruce Pack, if you buy these types of meats and poultry, you may be, um, you know, concerned about this, okay? Now, this has a manufacturing or a packaging date. Uh, between June 19th and October 8th is a, the time frame in which this took place. And again, it could be contaminated with listeria. Now, they're actually advising people that if, if you have this, First off, you probably shouldn't consume it. You definitely don't want to do that. But you can do one of two things. You can either just throw it away and be done, or you can bring it back to the place of purchase and get a refund, okay? So check those options out. Now, one question I've always wondered is, what if you've eaten like half of the pack or you <laughs> you have like a little bit left, <laughs> you've consumed most of it, and you hear about this recall? Can you then bring it back to the store and be like, hey, um, yeah, I ate like most of this and um, I heard there's a recall on it. Can I get <laughs> can I get a refund now? <laughs> right? According to my understanding about this, I did some research on it. Yes, the answer is still yes. You still can get a refund on it. They definitely do not want you to consume the rest of that pack. So I'm just saying, okay, don't feel like, yeah, I got this free opened up pack here and I'm going to eat half of it first and then bring it back to the store. I probably wouldn't do that. Okay? <laughs> even though according to my research on this, um, they should still be able to honor a refund, even if it has been opened and some of it has been consumed. Um, it looks like the refund would still be issued because there is a recall of this because of potential listeria contamination. So I'm just saying, <laughs> in case you were wondering, I've always wondered that because, you know, there's been different times out there throughout the last several years where it's like, you know, a lot of different things have been recalled for a variety of reasons. You may have some of them be like, I already ate most of that. Um, <laughs> can I still get my money back? And the answer is, um, according to what I've been finding, yeah, for sure. So just want to make that very uh, clear for you. Okay, so anyway, this is nuts, but um, yeah, just be safe out there. And again, just because this recall is out there does not mean that it's definitely impacting every single package of this Bruce Pack readied uh, meats and poultry that have been sold. It doesn't mean that for sure. Basically, what they're saying is, hey, we've potentially detected a listeria um, con contamination between these dates. Again, June 19th and October 8th. Um, you know, from these different ready meats and poultry. And they're basically just saying, hey, it's between this time frame. We don't know if every single pack is contaminated, but we have to recall it. That's just kind of the standard practice, right? I mean, putting people at risk is definitely not anybody's intention, right? A lot of these food manufacturers and food packaging uh, companies like this, I mean, it's very important, right? That's why they have the recall system and why they do these things, uh, kinds of things. Now, a lot of times, and I'm just saying, this may not be the case for this Bruce Pack uh, recall here, but a lot of times what they typically do is, let's just say that there was a, you know, a listeria contamination from, I'm just going to make up some dates here. Let's just say it's from, I don't know, August 1st to, you know, August 31st, something like that. So it encompasses like one month. A lot of times they bracket that by a lot larger dates. You know what I mean? So they'll be like, okay, it, it was, you know, it was August 1st through August 31st. And again, this is just an example here. But rather they say, we're going to recall everything basically from July 1st through September 30th, something like that. Okay. They usually encompass a much larger window just to make sure that, hey, 
if it happened before we caught it here and before we recognized it, we're going to make sure that we do the right thing here and make sure that the consumers that buy our products and things like this and that like our you know meats and uh, whatever it happens to be, that they're staying safe. So I just want to throw that out there really quickly. So quick side note, and again, I've already alluded to this, but I just want to say, if you have these types of meats, this Bruce pack, don't consume it just be safe. There's no reason to, right? Especially when you can bring it back to the store and just be like, hey, there's a recall on this. Can I have my money back? There should be no question whatsoever about them doing that. They should be able to do that. No problem. They should not question that whatsoever. They should know about these recalls and they do. Uh, your local grocery stores and wherever you buy your food from, they should be very aware of these recalls, especially when it's a big one like this, just like the Boris head recall that we saw. What was that? month or two ago. I don't even know when it was. It was just not that long ago. Um, they, they're they aware of this stuff. They know about this. And again, if they have any of these products still sitting on the shelves, they pull those as well. Uh, which other side note as well, is that apparently some of this Bruce Pack um, meats and poultry, you know, these ready to eat meats and poultry, apparently these were also distributed to some restaurants and they've also been advised, don't serve this. Well, yeah, obviously, right? And again, they have to do what they can and they're probably sending it back for a refund, you know, just like everybody else. So anyway, just want to do what I can for you to keep you posted on this stuff. Um, there's so many different weird things that happen out there. I mean, literally see all the different weird updates out there. This is just another one because I know in this community, there's a lot of people who are seniors, elderly, people with disabilities, you know, pregnant people, um, you know, stuff like that. And this is very dangerous for these groups of people. Not everybody, but why take that risk? It's not worth it, right? And of course, um, you know, maybe you're totally fine. I don't know, but I'm just saying, just be safe. There's there's no reason to even take the risk in the first place, especially when you can get a refund, right? Anyway, hope this helps you again. Just want to do what I can to keep you posted on what's going on out there. A lot of weird stuff happening right now, especially this time of year. Just a lot of weird stuff. I don't know what it is, but literally every single year, usually the second half of the year is just really odd. A lot of weird stuff happens in the second half. And when we get down to the fourth quarter of the year, it's like <laughs> the floodgates open and they're like, let's get it all out of our system in the fourth quarter of the year. So whatever it happens to be, it just seems like this every single year. That's why I've been saying all year long, just get ready. The second half of the year is going to be nuts. The fourth quarter of the year is going to be absolutely nuts. And um, there's still a lot to come here. And we still got a couple months to go as I film this video right now. So we will see what happens. But uh, just want to do what I can for you. Anyway, thanks again for watching this. Really appreciate it. Again, like the video down below. Big thumbs up button. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel as well. Again, totally free to do so. Big subscribe button down below. Check out the other videos here. Going back to the last few days here. There's a lot of good stuff that I've released here in these videos. A lot of changes that have been released, a big nonsense, things like that, and uh, more to come as well. So just stay tuned. Otherwise, check out the other videos here on the channel, the 5,000 videos in the video library, the very popular videos that I've hand selected for you down below in the description or the top of the comment section. And right now showing up on your screen as well, you'll see some videos there. Thanks. Enjoy those. And um, just have a nice day. Take care. Here for you in any way that I can be. Have a good one and catch you again later.